Hey everybody, this is a packing video for my two-day paddling and portage trip in the backcountry, Kejimokujik National Park. Now look down in the description or in the annotations, there's going to be a link to Todd's channel, Dragonfly Hiker. You know, he's my uh, excursion buddy here. And what we decided to do this, or this trip is to share the load in terms of uh, making sure that we bring uh, the necessities and lightening our load basically. We found that on our last trip we brought two of everything and one that made our packs kind of heavy and two didn't quite need two of everything. But show you the uh, boats that we got because we are doing uh, portage and uh, canoe. Our uh, friends at Trail Shop uh, set us up with a couple of boats here. Kudos or shout outs to uh, Steve and Brian there for helping me out on that. So we got a 14-foot Neki uh, recreational kayak and an ocean kayak uh, caper. So I'll do uh, different videos uh, for those kayaks to give you like an initial impression and in how those kayaks fared during our trip there. So it should give you a good idea uh, what type of boat uh, would be good for the type of adventure that we're going to be doing in the next two days. So let's take a look at the table here. Look at Todd's video. So whatever I'm missing here, Todd should have what I'm missing. If both of us are missing something, put it down in the comments. So we do have some time here to uh, put it in our pack before we head out on our trip. All right, so uh, there's no particular order or category that I, I arranged everything, just room on the table. But let's just start here. Uh, basically, I got uh, kind of a kitchen kit here. I got uh, a couple pots and a pan, a little plate, cup, spoon, a uh, mix of toiletries, garbage bags, bug spray, got a water filter for water filtration because we are going into the back country we need a way to uh, uh, get some clean water. Todd also has a filter or tablets too. I've got a two liter uh, Camelback which is drying right now but this is why I'm going to put it in here. Water bottle, don't need anything bigger because I got the filter and I got the bladder so I don't need to carry too much water with me at the time. Some deterrent just in case but probably won't need it. Headlamp, GPS loaded up with maps, coordinates that we need during our trip and a bunch of other stuff. We're going to record our trip on the GPS and we're going to post it as a Garmin adventure. Uh, you'll be able to uh, download it onto your device and or view it on your computer so you can follow along. We'll be able to geocode pictures and uh, it's pretty awesome. So Anyway, Tilly hat of course and a uh, wool buff. I should probably wash my Tilly. It's been a little while. Uh, let's see, emergency blanket or shelter just in case uh, we need uh, we need to use that. We have a little micro lantern here and that takes uh, tea lights. So these are good for about four hours. This actually fits two, so it's good for eight hours. Brought a few extra just in case. Tripod for some shots, deck of cards once we get to the yurt. This case here has a set of extra batteries for the GPS and for our radio and also a set of batteries for our ham radio, amateur radio. Inside the park there's a fire tower and also an antenna. And uh, if you want immediate communications because cell phone might be spotty in certain spots, this is probably the only way to communicate with somebody. And I'm sure there's some old guy in a shack listening to us as we're doing our trip here. So we're going to bring that with us and that's the extra battery in case we need it. Means to wait uh, to make fire lighter fire steel. iPhone I mentioned, take some pictures of the trip. Uh, because uh, reception is spotty, uh, I'm going to turn this on once in a while just to see if we get reception turned off to save battery strength. I don't have anything to recharge the batteries for this one. Map, or not map, there's our map. Our map right there. And our compass with a whistle. For knives, we bring a Spyderco folding knife, multi-tool Leatherman, and a uh, neck knife, Becker Necker from uh, K-Bar. We also have a small hatchet to cutting up the wood once we're at the yurt to uh, start the fire. Have a little bag of rope and beaners and carabiners so that we can uh, do whatever we need to do. Uh, the forecast announces uh, rain, so we bring. I'm going to bring the sill nylon tarp in case we need to have some lunch during uh, our paddle. We need some shelter, so we can quickly string this up. 
the rope that we need is already in the bag so it's just a quick setup some dry sacks here that we put everything in we got uh, the Thermarest base camp sleeping pad so we are sleeping in the yurt but uh, we do need a pad this is big but you know what it does the job very well rain suit inside its own bag booties to keep my feet warm at night uh, for food I'm going to show you something else that we're doing for food but uh, bringing a couple mountain house uh, meals right here bring some coffee in the morning uh, there's some fire starter right here to get the fire going and bring some uh, instant uh, potatoes here and uh, finally uh, the sleeping bag we're going to bring a North Face Cat's Meow a little overkill I don't have a summer sleeping bag but uh, this actually does uh, fairly well. Alright, showed you the uh, potatoes and uh, the potatoes are going to go with uh, hamburger, mushroom and green beans. We're dehydrating everything here so that once we're on the trail we can just add some water, heat it up and reconstitute. So uh, I kind of like this way of doing it. If we're missing anything between my video and Todd's video, add a comment in either one of them and see uh, what we can uh, do to add that to our trip. There's going to be a whole bunch of videos associated to this trip so make sure you subscribe to me and Todd's channel and over the next few weeks we'll uh, upload a different video related and uh, it should be a lot of fun so we'll uh, see you next time.